Play center in Brooklyn. We are set for the main event. Just the 10th welterweight title unification fight in history. The third between. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, white, and blue trunks, and hailing from Clearwater, Florida. He weighed in at a ready 146 and one quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign with a record of 27 wins, no losses, one no decision, and 22 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making the third defense of his title, ladies and gentlemen, here is the hard-hitting, undefeated, and reigning WBA welterweight champion of the world, introducing Keith one time. opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner wearing black and white leopard trunks from Philadelphia Pennsylvania his weight 146 and one half pounds his record 33 wins no losses 19 wins coming by way of knockout tonight in his eighth world title appearance Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the two weight division world champion and the current undefeated WBC welterweight champion of the world, introducing Danny Swift Garcia. Oh, you touch gloves now, man. You're boxing at the bell. God bless you both. A uh, Barclays Center boxing. Danny record. Garcia. Fourth fight is a fourth. Keith Thurman has been 140. Will that play a factor as the bell goes to begin round one? Thurman in the red, white, and blue would be no feeling out process. There is no feeling out process. And when these guys start off this way. Keith Thurman has been down once in his career. Garcia has never been on the canvas, but they are throwing first round knockouts. Although eight came in his first eight fights. Got four first round KOs all in his first. frame. Pace beginning to see unloading with that lead left hook, one of his calling cards, and he just stopped Thurman with that left hand. Oh, but there's a sweeping left hook by Thurman. Garcia backed up. Left hook to the body. Man, right up a cut by Thurman. has got to go in the way they are chucking leather. It could come early. In Brooklyn tonight. Thurman, here he lands an overhand right in round one. Way that jungle. You know, guard. Which is his big punch. Right hand. By, again, Thurman Doe was countered there by the left from Garcia. And especially against another hooker. Yes, precisely. Thurman, so far, not in evidence as well. They felt the power of each one. But, but his right hand is also very good. Final minute on the belt line as he has to be careful not to target the peninsula below the equator as you hear the jab there by Thurman avoided the attack from the thing settling down a bit here in the second stanza. But there's a nice run. Overhand right and another run. Wow. Both of these fighters were talking trash, you know, which, which we all do. Oh, oh. man. Here's Hook. Garcia doubled over. Back, but you know the thing about him, though, they backed it up. On the sport's biggest stage, oh, but there's another thudding right hand that landed that fight. And now, a lead right hand by Thurman. He's he's the Jabs has helped oh. him in this fight. Yeah, he's he's a left hand and a left hook. Great body work by Garcia. Got the Garcia. body there with the right hand, misses with the jab. Thurman ducks underneath that jab. And the head movement of Thurman, timing the jab, avoiding it, that shot. There's a lead right hand by Thurman, but again. We are through three in BK. In the last round, this is what Danny Garcia wants. A lead left took by Thurman, and then he counters with a Ray Leonard. Ray involved in an epic welterweight title unification the tonight. The WBA and WBC belts. For these guys, I mean, they fighting the fight, they talk the talk, but they fighting the fight. Through the first three rounds, Thurman is averaging a oh. nice body, body by shot Thurman. there by Thurman, but a nice counter left by Garcia. Moab Thurman ahead two rounds to one. The second round was the interesting one. Garcia established the range. Maybe Garcia see him momentarily to follow up. There's a lead right uppercut. Rain loves the counter attack. They have to 
There has to be combinations. That's stinging, what's in the catcher. Stinging jab by Thurman, but Garcia responds in turns, being the aggressor. Oh, good right hand to the body by Thurman. Nice one-two by Garcia. Lead left hand, but water by Thurman. Backing up Garcia. And again, Garcia's never been to the... Was a big one by Thurman. Garcia has the biggest chin. 147 pounder like Thurman, how would he do against him? Movement. Nice combination by Thurman in the final seconds of the fourth frame. Back here at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, Showtime champion. Been throwing the number of punches that he When he was a kid, Thurman said he wanted to have more knockouts than Tyson throughout his career. With 22, he's halfway towards equaling. This is outside of a jab that lands. That could be body punches, anything. Thurman with the edge so far. Garcia really incorporated that. Double jab by Garcia. Lead left hand and right misses by Thurman. And Thurman avoiding that sweeping right hand by Garcia. And Garcia to stop that movement. Ooh. He has cut the ring off. Okay, step to the side. Step, or step to the right. Beautiful. Good right hand. Yep. Good right hand landed by. Had Thurman. something to do with that a little bit too. And it was in this very venue last summer. Seen on CBS as well. And now Garcia looking to dig away at them with the left hooks. Now Thurman trying to establish the jab. Yeah, he has gotten back to it. Oh, the left hook of Thurman wow. is good. We've come to the end of round five. Garcia with a flurry. His left eye. Up and down, and when he sees a shot, he drops it. The right hand. Keith Thurman dropped out of high school at the age of 16. All you have to do is spend a few moments with him as he attacks the body with the right hand to figure out that he has. Man, and he and Danny Garcia different in so many ways in terms of their style and into the final minute of the sixth round. Very close round here. Neither man is effective offensively as they would like. Oh, sweeping right hand. Have to let both hands go as well. Thurman has done that. This is the first round, though, which he's, he's thrown. He's up by about oh, good. eight now. See what good combination by Garcia. And Two of the best at 147, unifying their respective titles. Right? Yeah, okay. Keep that jab. Do not drop your left hand. And throwing more punches, using the jab. He's moving the shots to the body now. So the winky right, Chad Dawson. This could be a swing round, an important round to determine who has the edge going into the second half. I'll tell you what, and oh, more than more than once, it kind of puts this man to sleep. Garcia rolling with those shots. For Lucas Matisse, no one thought Danny Garcia could show this foot movement. He boxed well against Matisse, and he's showing a little bit of it now here again against Thurman. And in 60 seconds of the seventh, Garcia unloading a right hand. Lead right block on that left hand was yeah, a right propensity on. for going down stairs into the basement. What they need to throw punches and bunches. Thurman throwing a check left hook. This, you know, Steve Farr made the good point for him. There's a left hook that landed by Thurman as he avoided the attack by Garcia. Garcia does well. And of round seven. This weight class. Yes. Good exchange. Again, as I stated earlier, he needs to cut the ring off. In other words, go to his affirmance. And now, what about Keith Thurman? Anything you would like to see him do more Down here? On a couple occasions with some power punches. And there he's Good trying to Defense do by Garcia, slipping those punches by Thurman. Again, Thurman not scoring with any of those shots. And well, he has had some trouble at the end of fights. He did a bit against. Uh, Mauricio Herrera also said he's going to have to show us that he can come come forward in those rounds. Those ones who's looking to use lateral movement. Here at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, right up lines for Thurman. In this fight. Keith Thurman landing some power punches early in this match. Straight left hooks. Both men landed good shots. The straight right of Thurman, when he has thrown it as a straight, very punch. effective. Garcia wants to go downstairs. There's an example of it with the both the left hook and the right. A little bit more than Thurman is here. Thurman with the right uppercut, and Garcia misses with the right and misses with the both. Let both hands go. And Al Thurman known as one time. more times often than not recently with yeah, the level of competition. 
Again, good. Seeing a pivot away. That was a very good body punch. And, and there was left hook Danny up. Garcia in many of these rounds. <laughs> you, you people don't appreciate. That one bounced off the arm, and Garcia swings widely. Wildly as we're down the stretch here in round nine. Oh, yes. So we may be seeing different uh, looks in the judges' stage of the fight. Well, with Thurman, he's thinking the whole time. He's moving the whole time. In other words, make the ring step on to the left and step to the right. Good the counter shot. right hand by Garcia. I love the coaching. Lead okay. left hook, yeah. right uppercut lands for Thurman. From welterweight title unification fight in history. Now you go up top. Now you trick him to the bottom. I'm throwing that uppercut, and he would land this one. He's landed four or five now really. He's winning everything. He's trying to get you out of there. No, yes, yeah, where Delahoy. Oh, nice body work by Thurman. Shot there by Thurman. Now he's not throwing that many punches, although that was a nice right hand by uh, Thurman. Let's not forget, it's a partisan crowd for yes. Danny Garcia yeah. shuffling, using the jab, so he's adhering. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing about it, a champion has to close this show. Well said, one of the greatest champions in the sport. And now. And Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, looking to put it all on the line. It's Thurman. Ray, if you were in the respective corners, what would be the advice you would have given your fighters? For any lucky punch. For being able to cut off the ring. But he's moving back. And Garcia being exhorted by. There you go. Yes. Under a minute remaining, Garcia. With the right hand, Thurman goes towards anything. Garcia throws that. Looks like it lands. Well, it's the bull and the matador in round 12. Garcia working the body. Thurman with a short right hand. Two of the best go the distance to unify the welterweight titles. Welterweight champion of the world, Keith Walton Thurman. Keith Walton Thurman, trainer Ben Getty looking down and smiling. Keith Thurman unifies the WBA and WBC titles.